More than half the American population is overweight, and as a nation debates uh, health care reform, it's worth noting that one study finds medical costs for all that extra weight adds up to nearly $100 billion a year. So with that in mind, our next story takes on extra significance. It's about a personal trainer who decided to gain almost 90 pounds. Sharon Alfonsi is here to tell us why. What was he thinking, yeah, exactly. right? Well, imagine having the body of a model, perfect arms, perfect legs, and six-pack abs. Now imagine letting it all go on purpose. That's what one man is doing. He's documenting his slide from gorgeous to, oh my gosh. Personal trainer Paul James had a body to die for. Rock hard abs, ripped muscle, a body that even landed him jobs as an underwear model. But in just six months, he went from fab to ultra flab. I decided to um, eat whatever I wanted. There were no restrictions. It's a journey captured in the upcoming documentary Fat and Back. James packed on nearly 90 pounds entirely on purpose. The reason for doing it was to better understand and empathize with my personal training clients. There's a lot of people who can't come into the gym for the first time because they feel embarrassed and they really appreciate someone to walk a mile in their shoes. But in his attempt to walk in other shoes, he's finding it harder and harder to walk in his own. Your whole body changes from top to bottom. So it's very, very difficult to deal with, um, knowing that only six months prior to that, you're in top shape. He's experienced joint and muscle pain, as well as dangerous spikes in his cholesterol and blood sugar level. It be soon became an addiction, and I'm currently fighting that addiction to sugar and fat. It's actually a lot more expensive to be overweight than it is to be in shape. James' medical costs skyrocketed, too. In the U.S., health care costs for an obese person are on average $1,400 a year higher than for someone who's not obese. But the greatest cost, James says, has been the emotional toll. I'm struggling to deal with a lot of things at the moment, and one of those is getting back into shape and realising that it's going to be a long journey back. It allows him to understand his clients a little better, and it just goes to show that uh, if you don't look after yourself, anything's possible. Now, five weeks into his journey back, he has to entirely rethink his own training, starting out slow. So far, he's lost about 10 of the newly packed pounds. I owe it to everyone out there to show them that I can get my old body back and I don't claim to, you know, totally understand what it's like to be overweight. But hopefully my journey encourages people out there to undertake their own journey. And we keep joking, he looks like he's pregnant. He went from being six foot two, 176 pounds to in six months gaining nearly 90 pounds to 264. He's been now exercising again for about six weeks, and he's lost 10, 10 pounds. pounds. And he's going to continue to go, but he does have insight now. But when we're watching the, the photos of him, you could just tell how his back, his posture was changing, and it really lets you know that extra weight. He said what he had does. back pain, all kinds of crazy back pain, and feet started to hurt. I can relate. Well, you're pregnant, so <laughs> I can you relate. truly are. You know, we don't look that different, actually. <laughs> <laughs> when you're doing November? Doing November, oh, that's right. Stay tuned. To see how long it takes to take that weight off. <laughs>